Mm, boy. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. We got the box. Uh, I'm trying to wait a minute uh, before I open this up uh, because I'm going to have to put my camera up on the tripod here. Um, and I have like a little uh, timer on my TikTok that I need to turn off. So I just fixed this one the other day. It's pretty cool if I do say so myself. Hello. <laughs> I kind of forgot I had that there for a second. Uh, this is my little workstation over here. I got this one torn apart, trying to solder these wires back onto the battery terminal there. Pretty cool. Uh, and this is the wall of clocks I have for sale. So, yeah, I just fixed this one the other day. Big fan of this one. Post a video. We'll unbox this. There we go. Uh, I want to order so bad, but I have no money. <laughs> I relate. Also, it said that there was, it says some of the comments in this live were filtered to protect the community's experience. I don't know what that means, but <laughs> we'll go with it. Uh, I'll demo some more clocks after we unbox this one. So, uh, for like a couple minutes, I'm not going to be able to see comments. I am going to like get up and check them though. So just uh, be patient. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, here we go. Um, I ordered this one a couple days ago. Um, I did not know it was coming today. So that is a oops, surprise. Uh, bonus for me today. I will always uh, open a clock. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm always excited to open a new clock. Yeah, there we go. I can't English apparently. Oh man, there it is. Already on the box. Here's my uh, receipt. I like how this box just fits perfectly inside here. Like, how did they do that? <laughs> kind of incredible. How am I going to get this out of here? <laughs> Let me see. Let me see if I can just, like, take the top of the box off. Oh, my God. It's, like, literally shoved in there. How do I do this? Okay. 
right. Wait, it's coming out. I think. It's gonna come out upside down, but look at this. <laughs> the scenes stuff that I usually cut out. Okay, cool. They taped the box shut so it wasn't going to open anyways. Fun times. Alright, I'm going to cut this tape and then I will check and see if there were any comments because I don't want to ignore anyone. reveal thank you for all the likes okay I don't think I've missed anything if I did just yell at me just say it again <laughs> oh. ta-da <laughs> there it is I think they put it in wrong Interesting. But, uh, it looks brand new from, like, first glance, but I'm afraid to look in the batteries, because I see there are no batteries in the box, unless they took them out before I shipped them. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay, that's good. Woo! Yay, clean. That's what I like to see. Uh, if you leave batteries in these clocks for an extended period of time, uh, they will leak. <laughs> and it is not good. Uh, it can, like, ruin it, so... We're good. It is okay. Gotta take these off so the pendulum moves. And... Find batteries. Um, these should be good. Somebody's downstairs. Let me test these real quick. I don't want to put in bad batteries. Got this little handy dandy tester. So good. And so is that one. Cool. Ba bam. All right. Looking good. Looking good. I'm gonna hang it up on the wall first. <sighs> oh, that spot is nice. Taking the camera off. Did I miss anything? I got two more clocks yesterday. That's cool. That is very cool. What clocks did you get yesterday? So pretty. Thank you. Thank you. Alright. I'm back now, so I'll be able to, like, read any comments. Uh, but, uh, let's see. Moment of truth here. Are there any clocks that can be programmed and customized with your choice of MIDI? 
Not that I know of. That would be really cool, though. Um, there are some people in Japan that do that. Um, thank you for the rose. I don't know what that means, but thank you for the rose. <laughs> uh, so lovely. Thank you. Play another song. Thank you for the, uh, the rose and the finger hearts. Uh, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Um, I post many clocks, <laughs> if you like this. I didn't know they played different songs. Oh, yeah. This one plays 30 total. You have your choice of 12. I think it's... Let me check here because the box is the songs. Oh, of course, it's covered by a sticker. <laughs> Uh, 12 American and folk, and then there's, uh, 12, I think, just classical, there might be hymns in there too, let me see, yeah, hymns and classical, and then six Christmas, you can, like, switch between. The songs are so cool on it and they sound so good. Uh, just went off on the hour. Uh, how many different makers are there of clocks like these? Um, there are three main ones. Uh, rhythm, which are like all of the ones in here. Except for maybe like one. One over there in the corner. That's Seiko over there. Ignore my bags i need to take to the thrift store <laughs> uh seiko rhythm and uh there's another company called power and they are kind of like the off-brand like rhythm and seiko are like the two main and then power makes kind of like knockoff ones uh but yeah uh pretty omg totoro Totoro one's in the other room. I took the batteries out of it because I'm afraid of the batteries leaking. <laughs> uh, do another one on this one. I like the pendulum on this one, how it moves, and it's like weird looking, kind of satisfying to watch. Also like the shape of this one it's like a really weird shape <laughs> uh yeah where do i get them i get them a lot of places mostly ebay and there there are a lot of like retailers that sell them um like uh, i live sort of near like amish country and there are a lot of amish stores that sell them since a lot of the clocks play hymns now uh but uh yeah, um, and then also there's this place that I go in Georgia, um, I'm actually going next week, it's called Champs Clock Shop, and they kind of, like, specialize in these clocks, as well as, like, a lot of other just, like, unique clocks, they have, like, cuckoo clocks, just your kind of everything, but they also have the world's largest cuckoo clock, which is kind of cool, uh, it literally, they had to build a whole room onto their store to house it because it's so big 
Uh, what is the most vintage model you have? Um, that's a good question. Like the oldest one that I have is probably this one right here. Uh, it's a, well, at least for the rhythm clocks, I do have, uh, this one right here that is probably the oldest. Uh, it was given to me by my aunt, I think. Um, yeah, I have a lot of just like off the wall random <laughs> clocks uh like that clock right there that also could be the oldest one i have i don't know that is from my old high school <laughs> uh because they tore down my high school after i graduated and i stole that clock because <laughs> my dad uh does construction and he was working there um and then that is from the hospital where i was born so it's kind of cool <laughs> uh all the clocks are about to start going off. It is the top of the hour. <laughs> This is an older one, if you couldn't tell by the sound, because the newer ones sound a lot better. Uh, let's see. What is the most expensive one, and how much is it? Uh, God, I don't know. I think the most that I've ever paid for a clock was $500, but uh, I have a couple that are worth more than that. Um, I have the Totoro one that goes for like 900 on eBay sometimes. Uh, and there's another one that I have. Here, I'll come in here because it's easier to uh, show it than to explain it. There's the Totoro one. And over here, this one. Um, I've had a lot of people uh, try and buy this one off of me. And also this one over here that I don't have batteries in. But... Um, I have one of those rhythm clocks that is shaped like a viola and has little spinning people dancing. Um, uh, where is it? I've got it. <laughs> I don't know where it is. <laughs> I'm lost. Help. I don't know where it's at. <laughs> I do got it. It's somewhere in this room. Um, it's probably behind the door. I think it's behind the door. Yep. <laughs> There it is. There's the spinning people that aren't spinning because I don't have batteries in it. <laughs> uh, there's more clocks going off in here. Uh, this one's from Japan. It plays all like J-pop music. It's kind of neat though. I like the uh, pendulum movement. Uh, thanks for all the follows, guys. Um, I'm sorry, person from Japan. I wish I could read your message. I don't speak Japanese, though, sadly. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I was so upset watching your TikToks and looking up the prices on eBay. They're so cool, but pricey. I know that's, uh, the downside about these is that they're so expensive. Uh, really cool, though, but very pricey. Oh. Did I? I didn't even set the time on this clock, and it's literally at the right time. That's kind of weird. I don't know. Anybody uh, superstitious on here? <laughs> That's odd. I opened it at, like, the perfect time. Let me see. Uh, okay, good. There is an on-off switch back here. 
Uh, so if you don't want them to go off hourly, you can turn it off. And then, kind of hard to see, sorry. Right beside it, right there, is where you can switch the different songs. Uh, and there's the volume, which is all the way up. So I'm going to turn it down because I don't want to blow out the speakers. Uh, but yeah, and then there's the full song list. So 12 Americana and Folk, 12 Hymn and Classical, and 6 Christmas. Um, if you long press on a comment, there should be an option to translate. <gasps> really? Oh, that is so cool. Thank you. I didn't know that. The song graduation photo has been played. That's wonderful. Yes, that's on that one over there. That is awesome. Thank you for letting me know. I did not know you could do that. TikTok is way better than YouTube in that respect because <laughs> YouTube does not let you do that half the time. Uh, are there any with fiber optic lights? No, that would be really neat though. Uh, can I see the watch on your hand? Yes. There it is. I have a lot of these. Uh, I will uh, be selling these soon for uh, um, Rhythm because they don't make watches anymore. Um, and I'm going to have like the last stock of them, basically. I got the whole catalog printed out there. These are my own collection, though. Uh, that one is solar powered. Uh, that's just chronograph, chronograph, my, uh, yeah, automatic. That one's also automatic. I like that one a lot though. should have said does anyone remember <laughs> what that song is called i'm funny uh i have to go but thank you for sharing your clocks they're very cool hey thank you random bish random ish for joining i'm glad you enjoyed uh and have a great rest of your day uh thank you guys for the follows and the likes i'll play another one on this sound though i think i will get one um you should i think they're very cool i think that uh they are i'm not biased i'm not saying this because i have so many i think that they are very cool for anyone to have in their house and there are a lot of different styles too uh like the current models like this is a current model right here i don't have batteries in it though i should I will put batteries in it, hold on. Life hack, here we go.
another story. Okay, there we go. I work for a clock shop. Get to see these all the time. That is so cool. I wish I worked for a clock shop. <laughs> I would love that. I probably wouldn't hate my job <laughs> and my life. <laughs> These melodies make me feel peaceful and calm. I agree. I agree. Um, I like the sound because this is the sound they have on the newer, uh, what am I saying? The newer models. And then this is like the older sound, which I kind of like more. Um, obviously you are destined to work at a clock shop or museum one day. <laughs> that would be nice. I would, I would not be opposed, uh, for sure. <laughs> uh, that would be very cool. But, uh, for now, have you come across the harmonica melodies rhythm clock? Yes. Uh, there's one that looks like this pretty much just like different font on the numbers and like a darker case uh and then i have one in here actually let me i don't have batteries in it of course but uh it's right there i like this one a lot uh like the case looks really nice on it a little scuff there it's okay i got it for cheap <laughs> uh i can't complain at the price that i got it for Maybe you can open a clock shop someday. I would love to. That would be really cool. Um, I feel like it would be kind of hard, though, because, uh, like, Amazon kind of, like, uh, has taken over a lot of that market. Because people just kind of go on Amazon and buy everything now. So, like, the little, like, niche stores like that are kind of dwindling. Uh, even, like, uh, little, like, gift shops. Like, the little gift shops that sell, like, candles and like home decor and all that they're kind of like going under because of uh amazon unless you're in like a little like tourist location uh but you know if there's another clock shop out there i'd like to work there or if i could like i don't know work at a clock museum someday that'd be pretty cool uh maybe a gift shop within a clock museum there we go i found my next job <laughs> <laughs> uh I want to play this one again. I like this. One of the only reasons we can stay open is a mixture of sales and repairs. Oh my gosh, yeah. Uh, I've had so many people tell me that I need to like really, uh, like, uh, that I need to like really uh, get more into repairs uh, because there are not many people that repair clocks anymore because a lot of them are like older and retiring or even dying, <laughs> which is really sad because. Uh, I don't know. I have a friend that's like really, really good at repairing, uh, both mechanical clocks and these. Cause if you look inside of, uh, 
these. This is just a simple one even. This one right here, I have another one over here, is this clock. It's a really simple clock. It, just, it doesn't do anything. Just plays music and the pendulum goes back and forth. Um, but it's it's really, there's a lot going on, at least for me, <laughs> I guess. Uh, so you have 84,000 fans open a store online. I think you will success. Thank you. I, I've thought about it. I mean, I sell a lot on eBay, but, um, I think it would be cool to have like a real store as well. Not just on eBay, like a website or TikTok, TikTok shop. I don't know. I get ads for that all the time. Uh, oh my, loved that. I'm glad I'll play another song. I sort of wish there were more wooden, glass, and metal components. The plastic looks cheap sometimes. I agree. I think, like, this one's all plastic, but I think it looks good. Uh, like, I think the design looks good, but then sometimes you go over to... Oh, I don't know. I like how this one looks, too. This one looks good. But sometimes whenever you get to, like, the mantle clocks and there's just a bunch of, like, gold, then you can just tell it's, like, plastic... I'm not a fan of that. Uh, some people do like it, but I personally don't that much. Uh, but uh, yes, I'm going to play this one. Again, it's Honesty. Who's ready to hear Honesty? It's like the most popular song I've ever posted on here. goosebumps i literally got goosebumps <laughs> uh average repair on a rhythm wall clock is around 300 we always have a wall oh my gosh <laughs> yeah see that's why i try and do them myself because it's so expensive and part of the reason i think why it's so expensive is well one it takes forever but two the parts are very hard to find oh are parts hard to come by yes they are <laughs> Uh, because Rhythm does not sell parts to like 99% of the dealers, at least from what I've heard from dealers that I've talked to. If you don't mind, uh, what what uh, shop do you work at? Because I may have been there before. We have Rhythm as a vendor so we can get them. Ah, I see. See, like even five years ago, maybe maybe closer to 10 years ago, they didn't used to do that. Um and it sucks. Chicago. Yeah, I've heard of them. I've, I haven't been there before. I'd like to go. I'm trying to kind of like visit a lot of the like main uh, rhythm dealers. They've been carrying them for years. I mean, probably like 20 to 30 years at least. They've carried rhythm. I know because I used to uh, go on their website when I was little. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's really cool. Thanks for sharing that too. Um. I like this one. Glad I got it. I love your clocks. Thank you very much. I'm glad you love them. Uh, I also love them. <laughs> but thank you very much. <laughs>
Um, oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. Oh, it's so lovely. Thank you. Thank you both. Hello. Hello. <laughs> How many do I have? Uh, I have over 300 rhythm clocks. Uh, I have a lot more other clocks as well, mostly over there. <laughs> and I also have some other ones uh, in storage. Uh, maybe there will be a clock company looking for cooperation with you. Um, I actually had Timu reach out to me. <laughs> Uh, and they wanted to do a collab with me <laughs> with uh, the clocks for sale on their shop. <laughs> I did not reply. Uh, I don't know. I didn't. I would rather do like a collab with like a clock company that I actually support. Uh, I've never bought anything off of Timu before. I don't really know anything about it, but I'd rather do a collab or an ad with someone that I would trust. <laughs> like rather than someone I've never dealt with before. Um, these clocks are so nostalgic. These clocks bring me back to a simpler time. Um, I agree. Uh, cause I've, I've like, check this out. <laughs> There's me in 2007, I think. <laughs> uh, they do bring me back to a simpler time. Cause that was me. I used to, I've collected these my whole life. <laughs> uh, I got these instead of toys. Uh, so this is, this is my life thing. This is what I've been doing and I still do. <laughs> At this point, I can't really stop either. Uh, I don't want to. So I'm Korean. Your watch is beautiful. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Uh, hello from the United States. Um, rhythm is the brand or style of clock. Rhythm is the brand. Uh, but this is kind of what they specialize in, uh, are the musical clocks. Um, Seiko is another brand. Um, they're, they're all right. Uh, I feel like Seiko is more of like the, uh, the budget brand, I guess. Um, not that their products are bad though. Uh, they have a special edition that they sell at Sam's club in the United States every year for a hundred bucks, uh, which is, Pretty nice considering rhythm clocks can go all the way up to uh, like $650. <laughs> uh, I sadly don't have any of the Sam's Club ones. Uh, those are kind of known to go bad after a couple years. Uh, so I don't buy them. Uh, but Hello Kitty stands out. Yeah. <laughs> I just took the batteries out of this because I put them in another clock. Uh, I don't know if I have... Yeah, I could put some batteries in it real quick. Uh, English is still difficult for me, but I will study hard from now on. That is awesome. I wish that I could speak two languages. I can only speak English and some Spanish, but not a whole lot. Uh, the Seiko line is the Melodies in Motion, and Bolivar has a collection now, too. Yeah, uh, the Melodies in Motion ones, a lot of like the ones that Seiko actually like sells to their dealers are really nice. Um, the Bulova ones, however, I can't really, uh, I can't really stand behind those ones. <laughs> uh, I've heard a lot about those ones and those are made by the company I mentioned earlier, Power. Uh, and they, they're not made the greatest, uh, at least from what I've heard. I've never owned one myself though. Uh, I thought you were a Japanese account the whole time. <laughs> nope. I got a lot of Japanese clocks though. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to play this one again while I put batteries in the Hello Kitty clock.
Bolivar cases feel cheap, but they have nice music selection. That's true. I like the weird like Zen melodies or whatever it's called on those ones. Uh, the Christmas songs, they ripped off from rhythm though. I don't know if you've ever messed with them and noticed that they're the same songs and they're like a very similar sound to rhythms. It's kind of funny. And they also have, uh, they have one like this that has the same dial movement. And then they have another one that is very similar to rhythms dial movement. It's kind of funny. Uh, but, uh, I come from Taiwan. Hello. Hello from the United States to Taiwan. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, here's the Hello Kitty one also. And it's gonna chime 12 times now. <laughs> but uh, that's that one. Uh, it's really cool. It plays a bunch of different songs too. I don't know if I can interrupt the chime sequence to. Yeah. Only six songs. A lot of the older ones only play six. Um, where did you buy the Hello Kitty clock? This one I actually got in the United States, but it was never sold in the United States. It was only in Japan. So the person that I bought this from had to have gotten it from Japan. Uh, but it's still cool. Uh, I wish that they, uh, I wish that they played, uh, what am I saying? What was I saying? I read a comment and I lost my train of thought. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know what I was saying. Uh, what was the last song? I can't remember. <laughs> I'm really losing it right now. A cute clock that looks like it would be in a girl's room. That is true. Perfect for a little girl's room or a 22 year old boy's room. <laughs> uh, I've never watched Hello Kitty, obviously. Uh, but I thought it was a cool clock. I got it. Uh, collecting clocks is really unique. I would be proud to have a collection like that. Thank you. Thank you very much. I, I am proud of it. Uh, it's taken a lot for me to get here because, uh, I kind of got made fun of it for it <laughs> whenever I was a kid <laughs> in school. Uh, so I kind of hid it a while or for a while, like from the world. Uh, I did not really ever talk about it publicly i had a youtube channel back in the day and then people at school found that and made fun of it so i deleted it and i'm back now <laughs> i'm back it's good everything's fine uh just sent rose times five thank you for five roses um i appreciate it love your collections thank you very much thank you for the very lovely clocks i'm glad that you enjoy um, I'll play this one now, instead of just having the camera on it. Ah, nice. That one has lights. I do like the lights on this one. It's classy how they put them inside the, like, uh, trombones. Um, OMG, the Hello Kitty clock. Where do I find these? eBay? Uh, yeah, I mostly find them on eBay. Uh, so, um, that's, like, most of them that I have. Uh, but I do go to, like, some clock shops near me. There's one in Douglasville, Georgia, called Champ's Clock Shop that I go to a lot as well. This is Dance of the Hours. I don't know what the other song was. Let's 
you have cuckoo clocks. I do. I do. I have a couple. I have one in here. Uh, up there. Just a simple little one, Schneider. And then I have these like little mini ones. I have a bunch of these uh, in storage. I just have a couple of them here. There's this little bear one too. Um, so sick. Thank you. Uh, there's also another cuckoo clock downstairs. I will show. In a your collection is super awesome. I love watching your videos. I've been wanting to start collecting. Thank you very much. And I'm happy to inspire you as well. Uh, it's really fun. Like, I feel like there's another one up there. That is not a working clock though. Just like a little decoration. <laughs> but uh, I like, I've been wanting to like make like a resource for like new collectors. Cause there's not really anything out there for like new people to learn about the clocks. So that's kind of something that I'm working on right now. Like a little website thing uh but uh yeah not meant to be a diss but people are a special breed i've met a college professor with 150 cuckoo clocks <laughs> i could not do that because those would go off 24 7 the only reason like why i have batteries and all these is because they all have night shutoffs like they whenever i turn the lights out like the clocks won't go off well they probably still would because there's window but <laughs> <laughs> like this one's not facing the light so this one whenever i turn it it won't go off see kind of nice uh you're not really supposed to turn them back uh but i just did i'm a rule breaker but uh yeah your collection is super awesome i read that but still thank you very much <laughs> uh how many different new clocks are released each year um from rhythm there's usually around like 20 or so but um nowadays they're just kind of more like reskins of like already released clocks which isn't bad um i'm just kind of waiting on them to release something like new new um i do like that they have the harmonica sound which is a newer thing that they've done um where's the clock that sings honesty you missed it i just played it i'll play it again uh, I want to respond to all these comments first. In a regular that has around 100 rhythms, <sighs> holy crap. <laughs> uh, poor person. They're just like me. They're just like me. <laughs> uh, where's the clock that sings honesty? Your clock's music is so soothing. Any clocks with stars? Yes. Thank you for the golden trumpet. Uh, play all of them at once. Do you guys actually want that? <laughs> Do you have a YouTube channel? Yes, I do. It is Timeless Moments. Uh, the TikTok is Timeless Clocks, but the YouTube is Timeless Moments. It is in my bio if you're interested. Uh, uh, but yeah, I love that they have the night shutoffs. It's great. Uh, this is not honesty, but I like this one, so. Personal favorites. Oh God, there are too many. This is definitely one of them. Honestly, it really is. Uh, get ready, here it comes. song um i'm gonna play the hello kitty one again and then i will show you guys some of my favorite ones other favorite ones <laughs> i'll play a different song And then 
goes back and chimes the hour. <laughs> uh, the songs on the Hello Kitty are so cute. I didn't know there was more than one option. There are other uh, six different ones, and um, like each one is set to a different hour, and then it'll like chime the hour, uh, and then it'll go through them again, like seven through twelve. But uh, I just uploaded a video on my YouTube channel of this one, like a good in-depth video with close-ups uh, if you're interested, and the video features all the songs too, so if you want to hear them all. Um, but yeah. When I was a child, I got really scared when the clock moved. <laughs> when I was a child, I used to be afraid of grandfather clocks. Uh, or um, I think in Japan, they're called hall clocks. I used to be afraid of those. You have anything with Studio Ghibli music? Yes, I do, as a matter of fact. I don't know if I have any batteries left. I'll get batteries. Give me a second. Because uh, that is one of my favorite ones. Uh, that I am going to in a second. This is another personal favorite. Imagine anyone, uh, but uh, I'll check it out. Thank you. The stained glass one is so pretty. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad you pointed that one out. I like this one too. It doesn't really do anything fancy, but I like that one a lot. There's a blue version too. I think I like the blue version more than this one. Uh, what was the first one that sort of started the collection? Uh. Not this exact one, but it's basically exactly the same, uh, this one. It's, uh, in the United States, it was called Cinderella, uh, and that was my first one. Um, we saw it in a mall, and I had been looking at these clocks online for months. <laughs> like, uh, that is, like, what I used to do back in the day. <laughs> uh, just with my grandma, we would sit on the computer and scroll through clock websites. And then whenever YouTube was made, oh man, <laughs> that was crazy because I used to just go on there all the time and look at all the different clocks, uh, especially these ones. Imagine, yes, it sounds so pretty on that clock. Uh, I just subscribed to your YouTube channel to help with my clock career. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh... I really appreciate it. YouTube's kind of my main focus. I just like to post on here because I know there's a lot more people on here. Uh, but uh, was that the Wizard of Oz depicted on the Cinderella clock? Let's find out. Hold on. <laughs> got it over here. I got my sheets off of my bed right now, so. Uh, kind of looks messy. Um, there's the, like, Cinderella carriage thing. Uh, in the castle up there with the crystal. Um, and then I don't know if that's supposed to be Cinderella and the prince. And then that is the, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, do people get you clock related gifts for your birthday? Yes. Um, <laughs> whenever I was little, I used to get uh, clocks for my birthday instead of like toys or like video games. Not that I wasn't into video games because I am a big Mario Kart guy, but uh, like Mario Kart Wii is probably my favorite game of all time. I still play it all the time to this day. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's the fairy godmother. You know, I've never even really looked at it. It's crazy because I've had this clock since like 2000. Three, I think. 
uh, I see it now. I do see it now. <laughs> this is why I like doing these live streams. You guys point out stuff that I wouldn't like notice, you know. I've just always seen like the carriage and the castle and then them on the side. Uh, when did the clock collection start? Uh, like, okay, so basically, uh, I was in the hospital because I was like, I was sick uh, whenever I was 13 months old. So I wasn't even a year old yet. And they have those like two sided clocks in the hospitals like that hang like off of the wall. Uh, kind of like, hold on. <laughs> kind of like this one like that, but they're more like industrial, whatever. Uh, but um, did I bring the batteries in here? I did, I'm gonna bring the camera thing too uh but yeah like they're more like industrial and my mom was like pacing the hallway with me because i was like crying and whatever and i was just like i kept pointing at the clock on the wall <laughs> uh and i just like kept pointing at it and she's like yeah that's a clock you know and i was like clock clock and i just like kept saying it over and over again and so people brought me like clocks to play with <laughs> in the in the hospital bed <laughs> uh because like i wasn't really talking at that point i think other than like mom clock was like one of my first words so <laughs> uh yeah so i'm gonna put some batteries in the totoro clock here let me let me ask you guys a question how do you say it? do you say totoro or do you say totoro because i've heard both and i've said both I'm just curious on what you guys say. Um, sorry to the person that asked about the Studio Ghibli clock like 10 minutes ago. Uh, I have ADHD. <laughs> uh, un momento. I'm gonna put the bad reason it. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of cool how, like, they can, uh, they can control those clocks by, like, a centralized controller. Like, the ones in schools and stuff, too. Uh, I forget what those are called. There's, like, a weird name for them. Is it, like, slave clocks or something like that? Weird? Something weird like that. I mean, I guess it makes sense. <laughs> um... What is your opinion on watches? I like watches. <laughs> I'm wearing one now. <laughs> uh, I don't spend like crazy money on watches though. Uh, I'm still here, bro. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Thanks for sticking around. Sorry I can't shut up. <laughs> It's not in like the best condition, but it's super rare. It's hard to find these ones. Uh, and I just really like the music on it. I'll play another song, but I'm gonna turn up the volume first. Whoops. Uh, what was the volume all the way? Oh, no, it's not all the way up. <laughs> I don't want to turn it all the way up though, because I'll probably blow the speakers because the music on this one can get really loud. And then it kind of just gets to a point where it doesn't sound good because it's so loud. <laughs> uh, would you recommend that movie? Oh, absolutely. Any Studio Ghibli movie is a banger for sure. Uh, if you ever need something to watch, Studio Ghibli is like my go-to. Uh, but they have such pretty, like, whoever makes the music, I can't think of the guy's name. He's a genius. Oops, same song, play a different one.
Thank you for the finger heart. Thank you for the finger heart. I appreciate it. Uh, Joe! Joe, my guy Joe. Yep, there we go. Uh, I can't remember how you pronounce his last name. Uh, but yeah, literal God. Uh, whenever I edit videos, I just play uh, his music in the background. <laughs> it's like, it's so good for like working or studying. Uh, did you watch the Disney dub or the original Fox dub or sub? Uh, yeah, I might get some hate for this, but I originally watched the Disney one. <laughs> Um, I, uh, I love that movie though. It was my wallpaper on, uh, my phone forever. <laughs> uh, fun fact, you guys are really going to hate me for this. Thank you for the earth, the five earths. What am I ever going to do with five earths? I wonder what I'm doing in those five different earths. If it's like different universes, do I still collect clocks? Probably. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> But anyway, um, yeah, uh, you guys are probably going to hate me for this, but I had not seen uh, Totoro. I almost said I'm both. I almost said to 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 Totoro. <laughs> uh, I had never seen this movie. Um, but uh, yeah, after I got the clock, I was like, yeah, I got to watch it. Um, cause I have loved this clock solely for the music and because of the characters ever since I was like, I found a YouTube video of it, uh, whenever I was, I don't know, I think eight, maybe seven or eight. Uh, but, uh, yeah, thank you for the no hate. I appreciate it. Um, but yeah, now I love Studio Ghibli. Uh, I don't know. I think Whisper of the Heart's really good. I'm a big fan of that one. Um, I don't know if I could pick a favorite. I feel like I'd have to just pick Totoro as my favorite, but I also really like Whisper of the Heart and um, Spirited Away. Spirited Away is really good. I can't imagine watching that as a kid, though. I feel like it would have scared me. <laughs> uh, not much. It's like a tenth of a nickel. See, I don't know how much this equates to, but I really appreciate it either way. Um, thank you for the interesting clock tour. Going to get going. Hey. Thank you for coming in. I'm glad that you enjoyed. Uh, I will try and do this more often because I feel like I've gotten DMs from people like, when are you going live again? I'm like, uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's just kind of like a spur of the moment thing. So I'm glad you guys enjoyed. Uh, but I forgot to show the cuckoo clock. So I'm going to run downstairs and show that real quick. And another one of my favorite clocks is down here as well. Here's one. This one's cool. I'll play a song on this one real quick. Hello. I love Num Tums 1 with lots of emojis. phone battery is dying so i'll probably have to go pretty soon but uh this one is one of my all-time favorites if not my like all-time favorite clock uh i just really like the gears and stuff and wait till you see the movement because it is sick oh so yes that was thighs meditation thighs i'm bad at pronouncing things sorry guys <laughs> i'm sort of a moron. <laughs> So pretty. You want to see something funny? 
Bam, shablam. <laughs> Don't screenshot that or you're dead to me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh my God. Um, do I have any holiday themed clocks? Um, not exactly, but most of them do play Christmas songs. Uh, like I'd say over half of them. Uh, play Christmas songs. I love this account so much. Thank you. I love you back. <laughs> Have heart. Uh, I thought this you is a girl of clocks. I am not a girl of clocks. I am a boy of clocks, actually. I know everyone thinks I'm a girl. It's crazy. I get like weird old men commenting on my videos all the time. It's okay, though. I don't mind. <laughs> that you guys think I'm a girl, not the old men. It's kind of creepy. You must like classical music. You've known every single one that I've played. <laughs> uh, when I started collecting clocks, I was uh, like two or three, I think. Uh, I have a degree in music. That's awesome. I wish I had a degree in music. Uh, so here's this cuckoo clock. You know, it looks weird, but I love it. It's a little demo button here. It goes off every hour and half hour. Uh, but yeah, um, it's kind of a mess down here right now. I'm working on like a little research project. So I got all my uh, catalogs and stuff out from over the years and kind of trying to work on that a little bit. Uh, but uh, do I have any Studio Ghibli clocks? You missed it. <laughs> I will go show it again. Uh, and also my entire living room in the process. Uh, I've never seen a clock collection. This is neat. Thank you very much. You're about to see a lot more here in like two seconds. Um, dun, 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 dun. Gotta head out, but glad I could pop in for a bit. Thanks for sharing these with us. Hey, thank you for coming in. I appreciate it. And have an awesome rest of your day too. Thanks for coming. Uh, so cool. I found a cuckoo clock at a thrift for $40 recently. I was so hyped. I love thrifting. I love it. Uh, half of my wardrobe is <laughs> thrifted. <laughs> but uh, that's awesome. I've never found a clock, uh, at least a rhythm clock, honestly. So that's on my bucket list. But uh, yeah, show your cat clock, please. Here it is. It doesn't work at the moment, but there it is. He's, uh, he's sick right now, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, here is the toad row clock again. Oh my gosh that's cool thank you i'm glad you enjoy wow that's amazing i love totoro our watch is expensive uh yes the these can be expensive um you can find deals on them though 
uh, for sure. I look on like auction websites like eBay. I don't know if you're actually from Japan. Um, Yahoo Auctions. Uh, I buy a lot of clocks on Yahoo Auctions Japan as well. Um, but uh, well, I'm gonna try and reply to the rest of these. Uh, I love obscure niche collections. This is awesome, bro. Thank you so much, bro. I appreciate it. Uh, it's the cartoon clock, Lamau. It is. Uh, <laughs> hey, do you have any mechanical clocks? I do. I have a couple. Uh, I don't know how to repair them, though. <laughs> that is probably a, 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 a bad thing. But uh, I'm kind of working on repairing these at the moment, learning. Uh, I've repaired, I, I guess I, I know how, sort of, I'm just kind of like still like perfecting the process of it, you know, uh, but yeah, uh, let me see, how many clocks do you own in total? In total, uh, rhythm clocks, I've got over 300, just like right over 300, I think it's like 306 or 7 or something like that, and then I probably have like about maybe... 100 or 200 other clocks uh, a lot of them are in storage though i kind of need to like sell them because i don't really i don't know i'm more into these than i am other clocks how are you i'm good how are you uh unrelated but i love the ceiling in that room me too <laughs> uh i like the wallpaper too but like uh it's it's kind of like you know, it's not that nice over here. Like, we tried to kind of, like, patch it up there. Uh, but I used to hang those, like, uh, glow-in-the-dark stars on the wall. <laughs> and it ripped the uh, the wallpaper. <laughs> so I kind of want to, like, paint it. And then also paint all the slat wall, too. Because the slat wall, I got this, like, wood one over here. I got white over here. And then I got tan on the other two walls. And it kind of bugs my OCD a little bit. <laughs> uh, uh, I love your collection so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for the follows. Long time no see. Hello. I'm here. Thank you for being here too. I hope you're enjoying. Uh, how many clocks do I have? I think I just answered that. But uh, I have 300 uh, rhythm clocks. So, yeah. There's a lot. I got my like little... Snoopy collection down here too. <laughs> uh but yeah. Um I think I'm probably gonna get off now because my phone is on five percent and it is going down <laughs> very steadily. <laughs> um you sound like you're from Ohio. Uh you would be wrong. That's not me. Uh I've been to Ohio before. Uh what a messed up state. Uh, truly, I hate Ohio. It sucks. Um, <laughs> but anyway, uh, thank you all for coming in. I hope you enjoyed. Um, and I hope you all have an awesome day. And, um, yeah, uh, make somebody's day today. You know, if you're, if you're going in the gas station and you, uh, see, a guy and you like his shirt say hey i like your shirt <laughs> make somebody's day today uh or you know text a friend you haven't talked to in a while say hey how are you doing you know you never know what somebody's going through uh but yeah thank you guys very much everyone thank you and uh yeah peace <laughs>